Shalom, and here's a thought for the week. We read about Abraham, 99 years old. It's the third day after his circumcision, his bris, and he's standing there waiting at his tent for people going by so he could feed them, bring them into his tent, even though he was in a lot of pain. God sends three angels um, to be there to come visit him. The beginning verse of this week's portion, Vayera Elav Hashem, God appears to Abraham. But it doesn't say to Abraham, it says to him. And the Rebbe points out an interesting idea. God appears to every single one of us. We are all the members of the covenant that Abraham, our forefather, had gone in with God. And by having a bris, that all of the people of Israel were all part of that covenant. God appeared to him means really pierced every single one of us. Yet, there's an interesting story of Rabbi Shalom Dover of Chabad. He was four or five years old, and he went to his grandfather to get blessed for his birthday. And he cried. He said, I studied that God appeared to Abraham, but why doesn't he appear to me? And his grandfather, the third Rabbi of Chabad, the Tzemach Tzedek, said, when a Jew, a righteous a tzaddik person at the age of 99 decides to go under a circumcision, he's worthy that God should reveal himself to him. We really all have that revelation. The question is, can we see it? Little Shalom Dober, who later would become the fifth Rebbe of Chabad, was crying, why can't I see it? We all have it. God is with us every single second. The question is whether we can see it. And to do that, we have to be worthy of it. How? By trying to lead our life, that if God was to reveal himself to us right now, would I be doing the right thing at that moment? To try to make our thoughts, our speech, our action, as if right this second, God would appear to me and catch me with whatever I'm doing. So I'm sure everybody thinking about that, that we have God with us every second, that we should be merit to be able to have that revelation in our life, to see God's hand in everything that we do with revealed blessings to you and your entire family and the whole community. May we have the biggest blessing of the revelation of God. As the verse says, God will no longer veil himself with the coming of Mashiach. Shabbat Shalom. May you come right now. Amen. Have a wonderful week.